When I knew we were coming to Sun Valley, I said, please let us stay at the Sun Valley Lodge. I've stayed here before, I love this property. And thanks to Jack, here we are. From the minute you walk in, you feel this special sense of history, just right in the lobby. History and comfort, feel exactly. like your home. I like that, yeah. sure. Yeah. This is a little bit nicer than my home though. <laughs> <laughs> Very special place. Uh, when Averill Harriman founded Sun Valley, he said it's gotta be roughing it in luxury. <laughs> I love all the old pictures though. You really feel like yeah. you're back in time when you're here. Sense of history, we're very Total proud of our history. history, very, very proud of our legacy here and the history of Sun Valley and what it's meant to uh, not only the ski industry, but the state of Idaho. And the lodge is a special place. You've got the lodge, you've got the inn, which is just a small part of the whole Sun Valley Resort, but let's talk about the lodge and the inn and the different rooms that are available and some of the more famous people that have stayed here. Uh, we right now have 148 rooms in the lodge. There's a standard room, a medium room, a king room, there's suites. In the inn, there's actually four three-bedroom apartments also. So we've got a variety of accommodations here at the Sun Valley Resort. Tell us about room 206. 206 is famous for a reason, because it's called the Hemingway Suite. And uh, Ernest Hemingway spent a lot of time there, and he finished writing For Whom the Bell Tolls there. I love the property. I love the fact that you've got ice skating and hockey right off our shoulder here and the pools, the heated pools. Another thing that's very unique to this building itself, we're sitting in the lodge, is the bowling alley. Built in 1936, a six-lane bowling alley. We keep that history there. It's a great family spot for the evenings. It's a cool uh, spot, yeah, I like it. And, but the whole resort is more than just the lodge or the inn. There's 2,600 acres here. We've got a lot to do here. And it's, it's made for people who are active all year round. Uh, in the winter, of course, we have two different ski mountains, Dollar, is uh, where the first chairlift in the world was. And in 1939, we looked across the valley at this big mountain over there called Baldy and decided to put some lifts up there. So with the leftover, where the pile of timbers were, they built Roundhouse. And that was our first warming hut on the mountain. And it's still a great place to have lunch and even dinner. A lot of history there, it's great, four-sided fireplace, wonderful views of the valley. One favorite pastime is the shopping area, and people like to shop, of and of course, course eat. Oh, the, the great restaurants. The facilities on the mountain are just incredible. The, the nicest lodges, yeah. the ski lodges I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Everybody loves something free. You got yeah. free transportation to the mountains, and you have free ski storage. Absolutely. That's unique. Absolutely. For all the guests of the Sun Valley Resort, it's also free. We pick them up at the airport, the Sun Valley Airport, I didn't 13 know that. miles away. Well, how about yeah. that? I want to talk a little bit about the ice skating rink yeah. because that's year-round. That's one of what two in the world that are uncovered and open year-round. Yeah, that it's pretty great. special. And you have lots it's, of great shows during the summertime. Yeah, it's really amazing to it be 85 degrees and people are out there ice skating and their shorts and their t-shirts. But a real special occasion in the summer is when we have our ice shows. We've been having them for 74 years now, and the greatest Olympic and world champions have been here skating. You get a real sense of community here too, that everybody mm -hmm. knows each other and likes each other. It's, it's a really friendly place to be. It is, it's very friendly. I think it's uh, one of the reasons people keep coming back and one of the reasons we all live here. There's yeah. something that I read about which is Ride the Beast. What is Ride the Beast? Ride the Beast is when one lucky guest can ride the grooming machine with the groomers. You know, Jack, I always get to have all the fun on the show, so I think it's time that I share some of the wealth with one of my camera guys. I think that's a good plan? I think it's great. And I know Josh probably doesn't want to do it, so Mike, ride the beast. My name is Jim Weand, and I've been grooming here for 31 seasons. On my left hand here, there are two sticks, and that's my steering, there's one for each track. And then everything else is on this joystick in my right hand. Well, you start with the blade, and you cut the snow first, and then that all goes underneath you. You fill in the holes, cut the high spots, and the tracks chew it up a little bit in the process. Then you get to the tiller back here, and it chews up the snow and turns it into like a fine powder. And across the back you have the comb, and that's what makes your corduroy pattern. I like running these snow caps. I just think they're impressive machines. One of my favorite parts, I think, are the sunsets I get to see.
As Mike ends his day on the beast, I end mine chilling out in the heated pool at the Sun Valley Lodge. This resort is incredible. In fact, I challenge you to find any year-round resort that has more going on than the Sun Valley Resort. For more information, go to sunvalley.com.